I'm here with Sue from uh, Mockabella up at uh, Everton Plaza at Flockton Street at Everton Park slash McDowell, whichever you choose to call it. Uh, Sue, you've been here a long time, haven't you? How long uh, ago have you? Gosh, we're talking about maybe 11 years. I think. 11 years? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And what prompted you to open up here? Um, I'd sort of been working in the sort of cafe, restaurant, hospitality type of thing for, I don't know how long before then, probably another 15 years and it was always sort of a bit of a, wouldn't it be lovely to have my own place and I was fortunate enough to actually work here for a, a couple of years and um, the Italian brothers that owned it originally uh, actually rang me and said they were selling and would I be interested and here I am. 11 <laughs> years later. Yeah. So are you still excited about being in this yeah. business? Because it I, takes a lot of energy. It does, but I actually really, really love it. So um, yeah, it doesn't take um, much to get me excited. I only need to see a new recipe or see something in someone else's cooking and yeah, it all comes back. Yeah, so it's really, really good. And people obviously make it yeah. exciting. So, one of the things I notice here is you have a lot of things that are homemade. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about that? So, um, I find the community that's here um, seem to really appreciate homemade but also things that remind them of memories whether it be their grandmother their mother whatever it might be um, and I just find that sort of comfort food really goes down well um, on top of that we also have a lot of people with dietary requirements either through allergies or just preferences and there's so much to choose from these days it's, and the ingredients are so good you can just about you know it's, you can make whatever you want and it's just great to be able to do that so yeah one of the things I love about coming here it's like it's just so familiar you know I walk into the door and you, you know you already know what I'm gonna have yeah so that personal service is lacking yeah. in a lot of places and um, that's what I really appreciate about Mockabella the people here um, they come they go but they always come back and it is it's a huge community family and it kind of makes being here um, really special yeah that's lovely um so you're also involved a lot in the community and then giving back I know that recently you had a couple of people here showcasing their wares and things so. yeah we've sort of you know throughout the years sort of made contacts and as I said things come, come and go in ways um, we've been able to sort of put aside a little area in the cafe for basically anyone in the in the community whether it be through small business or charity groups or whatever it might be there's no sort of criteria who need a bit of exposure or just might want to try to sort of present their product to uh, you know a wider audience that um, I know there's a lot of social media and all these days but I always sort of like the one-on-one -on -one contact so it just creates an area for you know basically anyone to do that yeah and we're here most days so it fits in with anybody's time schedule thank you Sue one of the things I love about Mockabella is just it's in an old-fashioned cafe somewhere where you feel at home so if you're looking for something a little bit special no processed food nothing different come and see Sue <laughs> and tell her I sent you she'll look after you thank you Thanks, Sue everyone. thank you very love much love to see you next time